Hi, we are going to show you how to install VMware Player and Windows 7 in a virtualized environment. VMware Player virtualizes a complete set of hardware for users to install a guest operating system. First, open your browser and Google VMware Player. Click on the link vmware.com. Now click on the download link. You will be directed to our download page where you can select the different versions available. We will be using the older version 3.0. We will not be using the current version 4.0 because VMware Tools is not working properly, which we will be using later during this video tutorial. Then click on the download link. Now you will be asked to fill out your first name, last name, and email address, and then click on continue. Next, you will be asked to fill out more information. Then check agree to the user license agreement and click on register. You will be redirected to the download information page. Scroll down to the version 3.1.5 and select the correct version for your operating system, either Linux or Windows. Save the file where you want. Now locate and install VMware Player. Click Next to continue. Now choose where you would like VMware Player to be installed and then click Next. VMware Player will ask if you want to send anonymous data to help improve VMware. Uncheck the box if you do not want to. Then click Next. Choose where you would like to create shortcuts to VMware Player. You will be asked if you would like to make any changes before installing, otherwise click Next to continue installing. Now wait for VMware Player to install. Choose to restart your computer now or later. Start VMware Player and agree to the user license agreement, then click OK. Now we will create a new virtual machine. You will have an option to install the operating system using the CD drive, an ISO file, or install it later. We will choose to install the operating system later. Then click Next. Now you can choose which operating system you would like. You can select Windows, Linux, and other operating system. We will choose Windows 7. Then click Next. Now you can give the virtual machine a name and decide where to install the file. Then click Next. Now you can specify how much hard drive space you want for the virtual machine. We will only be using 20 gig. You can also decide to start a virtual disk in a single file or in multiple files. We will be using the single file. Then click Next. Here we can modify what type of hardware device that will be available to the virtual machine. We will be removing the floppy device since we do not have one. At this point, we will be mounting the Windows 7 ISO file to the CD right to install Windows 7. Otherwise, insert the Windows 7 CD and click on Use Physical Right. When the ISO file is melting, click on Finish and start the virtual machine. VMware will ask to install VMware tool. Click Remind Me Later. Now we will wait for Windows to load in installation file. First, we will begin to selecting the language, time zone, and keyboard type. Then click Next. Then click Install Now. Accept the license agreement and click Next. Now we will have to choose to upgrade or do a custom install. It is usually recommended to do a full custom install. Click Custom Install and continue. In this screen, it will show you the different hard drives available that we created earlier in the tutorial. Select the hard drive and click Next. Now Windows will copy the necessary file for Windows and install feature and update. When it's done, it will restart automatically, or you can restart manually by click Restart Now. After it is done, restart it will finalize the installation. 
Window will restart one more time before you will be able to set up window. In the Windows 7 setup, you will be asked to create a username and then click next. Now you will be asked to create a password and a password hint, then click next. Now you can type in your Windows product key, but if you do not have it now, just click next. Now you will decide how Windows will install updates. Next, we will select a time zone and adjust the time if needed. If you are already connected to a network, Windows will ask what type of network you are on. Otherwise, it will ask to set up a network connection. Now Windows will finalize your settings. At last, it will take some time to prepare your desktop and Windows will be finished installing. After Windows has logged in, we can now install VMware Toast by clicking on Download and Install. Next, follow the installation wizard and install VMware Tools. After VMware Tools has finished installing, Windows will restart one more time. Now we will be able to use one of VMware Tools functions, such as drag and drop. This allows the user to copy files from the host machine to the virtual machine and vice versa. This concludes our video tutorial on how to install VMware Player and Windows 7. Thanks for watching.